Hey, thanks for joining me on today's video. I'm going to walk you through a very short video on where I have found some ICS PCAP sources. So if you're interested in industrial control systems and you want to learn more about it, you can get PCAPs from these different sources that I've found. My name is Keith Jones. If you want to, uh, you know, chat with me about these videos and whatnot, feel free to contact me. My website is drkeithjones.com. If you go there across the top, I have all my social media links and so forth. So whichever is your favorite medium, go ahead and click in there and feel free to contact me. While you're here on YouTube, please do like this video if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to see them as I publish them, please do click subscribe and Clicking subscribe and liking the video also helps me push these up the ratings. So that way, um, when people are searching for uh, network security type of videos, they'll find these. All right. So we have, um, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven links are my main collection of links for uh, PCAP resources for industrial control systems. The first two websites are the same, but it's just me showing you a couple different directory structures. And then um, the rest of them, I think, yeah, they pretty much stand on their own. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and talk through these in a web browser in a second. And um, in the middle, I'm going to interrupt because there's actually a website that has more than just PCAPs that I thought was interesting enough to, uh, Put into this video so i have two extra links here um, one is the control things io and another is to a spreadsheet that the control things io people put together and what i'm going to do is um, also talk about those when we get to that point so let me switch you over to my web browser all right, so the links across the top are in the same order that you saw them in the slide, and it should be the, it's, it's going to be the same order that I'm going to put them in the uh, YouTube video description. But this is the first page that, uh, when I was looking for ICS protocol PCAPs, this is the, one of the first pages that I landed on, and I thought it was pretty neat because um, a lot of times what they what places will do is they'll say, "Hey, here's a PCAP." And you don't have a whole lot of context around it. And here they say, all right, here's a bunch of PCAPs. And, you know, they're decently sized. They're hundreds of megabytes. But they also show you pictures. They tell you IP addresses, what's attached to those IP addresses. More pictures. And even down at the bottom here, they got some snort signatures for you, too. So um, this is the first page I wanted to highlight because it was so handy and A, the traffic is interesting, but B, you have the human metadata behind what you're seeing in those PCAPs. So um, this website also has a bunch of other PCAPs. So I gave it, this is the second link. Um, and as I scroll down here, you can see there's a bunch of different types, but what I wanted to do is scroll to this section here, which is the SCADA and ICS network captures section and this is where you can get to the last page that we saw um, so when i was looking for pcaps this is this was my second stop this has a bunch of other links that you can go to like for instance there's the defcon uh, 23 ics village and if you click into that one it'll um pop you down a rar and you can unzip it it's got a pcap there too but it doesn't have all the same type of description that we just looked at in the previous page. So second on my list, this is um, a great resource for pulling PCAPs. Now here's another resource. This is off of GitHub automate slash ICS dash PCAP. And one of the reasons why I like this one is it's a really big repository. So as you see, I'm scrolling up and down. You can see it's a bunch of directories. And it's organized. So for instance, if I want BACnet PCAPs, I can click into that. And uh, then I have a bunch of directories 
that I could click into. Uh, I'll just pick a random one. And you got a PCAP here. And in some cases, they even ran it through Zeek. Um, seven years ago version of Zeek, but they did run it through Zeek so you can look at like connection logs and so forth to see ports and other information about the connections. So while not the, um, while you don't have a ton of the, um, like the human metadata on that with the pictures and so forth that we did in the first tab, this repository I like because of the number of PCAPs it has and the breadth of the protocols that it also has. The fourth one is the ICS Defense PCAP Archive, and um, they have a bunch, and I just scrolled down here uh, to the BACnet. BACnet is an ICS protocol like I just showed you. And you can see they have a bunch in here as well. So this is another good resource to go find PCAPs. It's not as pretty or clickable as the other ones, but it has a lot of great resources, as you see. Our next link is a GitHub. This is the Malcolm PCAP. Uh, I mean, it's a repository, but it's also an index. So you see, um, for instance, as you scroll down, you know, it links to a bunch of other places where you can find PCAPs. And these are not all ICS PCAPs. I'm just pointing to this repository because there are PCAPs in here that you might find useful. See, there's PCAP. I'm sorry, there's a uh, BACnet PCAP, BSAT PCAP, and so forth. So there are um, ICS PCAPs in here, but there are also PCAPs for other protocols. And then you have references to other places, including tests in other uh, Zeek repositories. Because a lot of times these Zeek repositories, they will have tests that will include a PCAP. So that way you can test logic on actual network data. Well, those PCAPs can also be used for other things like research. You know, you can open it up and understand a protocol just based upon a PCAP. So what this project is, it outlined a bunch of additional PCAPs that they found in the Zeek and Zeek plugins. Usually if I'm looking for a PCAP that's not just ICS, I will search for Wiresharks. Uh, they have a great wiki on the different protocols they will parse up and on each of the protocol pages, they'll have a PCAP or multiple PCAPs included. And then um, just like I just showed you with the Zeek tests, those will have PCAPs as well. So those are usually the first two places I'll hit. Now, here's another one. This is kind of the mother load. This is the Control Things IOCT samples repo on GitHub. And as I scroll, you can see there's a whole bunch of protocols that they support. So for instance, if you're interested in BACnet, you click in there and you can see there's a whole bunch of BACnet PCAPs that you can start analyzing. Now this website, let me take an offshoot for a second. This is where we'll go to the other. This is controlthings.io. And when you go there, they have a resources section and they have a great resources section. They have this, um, my favorite is this uh, spreadsheet at the top. And when you click on it, this opens and it tells you so much information about every single ICS protocol out there. So if someone did their research and put a really nice big um, set of spreadsheets together with links and so forth. And those people were associated with this GitHub repo that had a bunch of PCAPs and they have more. This is where the PCAPs are, but if you were to click on CT samples, they've got you know, more information than just PCAPs. Okay, and the last link I want to show you is the krx.net. And um, this is just in slash capture. So 
it's not organized out of all of them, this is probably organized the least, but it has some of the I think it's consolidated a lot of these resources that we've seen uh before. So um what you see here is that if I just scroll down, there's a bunch of different protocols that they support or that they have PCAPs for. And usually what I do in this case, when I need PCAPs in this style, I use some, I use a tool like wget and wget will let me pull down a whole directory like this. And then I can sort through them and figure out what protocols are what. All right. And that is the end of my presentation. Again, if you liked it, please do click subscribe and like on this video. And if you want to contact me, go ahead and get to my website there, drkeithjones.com. I got all my social media links and so forth up there. So I hope to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks.